YouTube, YouTube. Smoking Uncle Frank here. Um, I got my um, TRB delete stuff in today and uh, installed it on my FSC. So, uh, this short video, uh, did a little chrono testing on it. I didn't touch the touch the regulator until after uh, I shot it a couple of times and I was getting around 226, which is expected because I'm, I'm shooting eight Grim, Grim Burns. So, so I turned it up a little bit and tried it and was too, still under three. I, mean, I don't know if I'm going to ever get it up to three, but I got it. the last, the third shot in, I finally, after I turned it up again a little bit more, I don't know how much I turned it. I just kind of went, here we go. I'm going to go around one more time or two more times. I think I went about four more times. But I had cranked down, down to 10 from, from flush. So I got cranked down about 14 times from flush, give or take. Not bottomed out or anything like that, but I was getting a third shot. I got 273 FPS on it, so I think I'm pretty well satisfied with that. If it's a third shot in, because you know that you know the CO2 is running low by then, and it's going to get a lower reading. So those upper ones, I haven't I haven't tested it yet, and I will one I will soon enough. Um, um, test that out, see what it does on the first and second shot. See if I get any higher. I just hate, you know, I, I'm i just grateful for one thing. Those 12 gram magazines that I got from Grimberg and the ones that I got from uh, Symertech, I think it is. Uh, they're just shells you have to put your insides in. Like, this is an 8 gram magazine. I, I Eventually, I'm going to probably order some more of those shells and take the guts out of this and put it in that one and make it a 12 gram CO2 car. CO2, or I, what I'm thinking about doing actually is, is I might get one, I might just get one 16 gram one. 16 gram CO2s are a little bit costly, but I might just get one frame, one of the shells for it and make it a 16 gram. Just, just for shits and giggles to see because 16 gram CO2s you're going to probably get a little more power out of. And... Well, I just thought I'd give that a shot, so I'm not going to do it anytime soon because, well, I I, um, I already got this here, the, um, and I got to watch my spending, so, you know, I bought myself uh, a couple of Hogue um, pistol grips, uh, one for this and another one for, for something else I'm thinking about using it for, um, maybe, or to spare, whichever. So I got a couple of cold, cold pistol grip for it, and I also ordered a um, uh, some spare detents, some spare metal detents for it. So I'm not going hog wild as far as spending on this thing right now. It's just, you know what? It's good stock. It's, it's pretty good. Uh, I like the barrel. The barrel works well. I mean, maybe one day I might get a Grimberg. I never have. I never have gotten a Grimberg barrel yet. You know, I, for some reason, I don't know what it is, but there's something that bugs me about them. The fact you got to push them in and hold them, turn the screw and tighten it down. And I don't know. I just, I might get one someday though, but, but that, that whole setup, the way he's got it. Plus he uses his own special detents. You got to get, I like things that are standard. When I got to switch out to something else that's special, it becomes to me, it becomes a little bit of a pain in the ass. I don't know. Whatever your thoughts are on that, that uh, like or don't like, I don't give a damn. I'm, I'm doing what I'm doing because I, I know what I like. Um, so that's pretty much about it. Uh, enjoying it. I like it. I like it even better now that I got the, uh, the uh, PRB delete in there. So, you know, because um, then I got, you know how many spare spring pads I've got right now. If I, if I, 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 one of these days I got to sit down and learn how and maybe get the parts to convert them to, um, the sealed ones so you can use them as backups for this instead of ordering the, because, because, uh, right now what I got in here is I got a VKS spring pad in there along with the VKS sear spring in the regulator. 
and then I put the uh, the v VCast uh, bolt spring in in, uh, in it. You need all three of them really for it to work properly. So, and I'm thinking about maybe uh, I'm looking at the uh, looking at the regular. I think I might uh, just shim one, shim that one little area there where the where the arm comes out. I might shim that back there a little bit because it, it's a little wiggly waggly for me. I don't know. I'm gonna see if I can. Just bring it up a little bit, get it to stay a little more level. It's not causing me any problems right now, but um, I don't know. It's just something I thought I'd do because I saw other people do it. And, you know, and I'd like to get a couple extra, a little, uh, I actually wrote him, Scary Cat does a video, and he's got these, uh, these little washers that he puts in behind. He shims his, um, he shims, he shims the spring pad when he, after he put, when you put the spring pad in and you put that spring over the, over the top of it, because that's all really there to it, and then you just screw it down, okay? Well, he puts a couple of, of, of thin washers on top, uh, and, and if, if you want, check him out on, on YouTube. He's got a video on it, and the reason why he does it, it, it made sense to me, it made a lot of sense, so, um. So I wrote him and I asked him where the hell he got the damn things from and he's got these other washers that he used. Like I need more washers, more O-rings. I got, I got, I don't know how many O-rings. I got O-rings to last me for freaking decades probably back there. They're not the same ones he's got, but they're probably real close. They're just a different company. You know, O-rings are O-rings. I'm pretty sure of that, you know. Plus I got the, um, well, you know, I got the, uh, what do you call it in here? The, um, not Grimberg, but the, the, uh, uh, I forget his name. I forget, I forget the name. The heat coral ring, the, the big black square one you put in, in the, um, uh, in, in the bolt or in the firing, firing mechanism, you know, the, the part that slides back and forth inside the gun. It's part of the bolt. I, I don't know if it's actually the the bolt or it's called something else, but it's, it's all connected. So I got that in there, and I got the and I got the like I said, I got the uh, PRV delete in there. So this thing's ready to rock and roll now. I think I'll find out later on after I do a few more tests, and then I'll maybe I'll shoot it for you a little bit. I know one thing. It, I, I shot at a pan, I shot at a baking pan, and it, and it came, it didn't go through, but it, it did massive cave-in damage on it. I mean, the thing is almost like a bowl now. <laughs> so, so, I'm happy with that. So, anyway, that's it, guys. That's about all for today. Um, I will uh, try to think of some more bullshit to talk about later on. Be safe. Have a good day. Bye-bye, all.